Hello, and welcome to the State Road A1A Sidewalk Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Anthony Miller, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain how the department plans to improve pedestrian safety through this project. We encourage your feedback, and there are multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447-150-1 or 447-150-2. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerin-group.com to report it. You may also call GoToWebinar support at 1-833-851 8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. These projects are in Brevard County along State Road A1A within the City of Satellite Beach. The first project starts where the existing sidewalk ends at Shearwater Parkway and continues to Panita Causeway, also known as State Road 404. The second project begins where the existing sidewalk ends at Volunteer Way and continues north to Roosevelt Avenue. The Financial Project Identification Numbers, or FPIDs, for these projects are 447150-1 and 447150-2, respectively. 
These projects along State Road A1A are located within high tourism areas with beaches, condominiums, and resort properties on the beach side or east side of the road. The west side of the road is heavily populated with businesses and residential properties. For these reasons, there are many pedestrians who use these corridors to travel to and from the residences, as well as to businesses, restaurants, and recreation areas along the corridor. The new sidewalk proposed in these projects will create a safe, continuous pedestrian route from O'Galley Boulevard to Panita Causeway. These projects will also construct curbs and curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards, reconstruct driveways as needed, and include modifications to roadside drainage. Let's begin with our first project, FBID number 447-150-1. Currently, on the west side of State Road A1A, between Shearwater Way and the Pineda Causeway, sidewalk is not continuous, and there are several areas along the corridor where sidewalk is not provided. This project proposes constructing six-foot-wide sidewalk connections between existing sidewalk on the west side of the roadway, thereby creating a safer experience for pedestrians along this corridor. Walking through the plan changes along the corridor, construction of a six-foot-wide sidewalk is proposed to begin just north of the development at the northwest corner of State Road A1A and Shearwater Parkway and continue northward along the west side of the corridor. Curb ramps will be constructed to meet ADA standards at the northwest corner of Berkeley Street. Continuing to the north, the new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road with ADA curb ramps proposed in front of the Chevron, Brevard Custom Computers, and Sea Park Boulevard. To accommodate the sidewalk construction, FDOT plans to modify the northernmost driveways into Villon's Surf Shop. FDOT will coordinate any driveway modifications or closures directly with the property owners. Also, the Space Coast Area Transit bus stop just north of the Chevron gas station will be relocated approximately 125 feet to the north. The new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road throughout this segment with the construction of ADA curb ramps at Southeast 1st Street. FDOT is also proposing to close the southernmost driveway into Paul's Beach Automotive Services. Moving north, proposed sidewalk construction continues along the west side of the road, with the exception of where the sidewalk currently exists, between the bus stop in front of Skyview Plaza to Ocean Boulevard. ADA curb ramps are proposed in front of 7-Eleven and Winfield Sports Bar. This segment also contains existing sidewalk in front of the beachside apartments. Sidewalk construction will continue from there and will end at the southwest corner of State Road A1A and Panita Causeway, which is the northernmost limit of this project. Plans include the removal of the existing right turn lane south of Northeast 3rd Street in order to construct the new sidewalk in this section of the corridor. The Space Coast Area Transit bus stop in front of Beachside Apartments will be relocated approximately 50 feet to the north. The design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in June 2024 with an estimated cost of $1.27 million. The improvements on this project will be constructed within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. Construction for this project is currently unfunded and has an estimated construction cost of $1.94 million. Moving on to the second project, FPID number 447-150-2. Currently, along State Road A1A between Volunteer Way and Roosevelt Avenue, sidewalk is sporadic with large gaps on both sides of the roadway. This project proposes constructing six-foot-wide sidewalk to provide connectivity on both sides of the roadway. 
Now we will walk through the plan changes along the corridor starting at the beginning of this project. Construction of the six foot wide sidewalk will begin on the west side of State Road A1A, where the existing sidewalk ends at the pedestrian mid block crossing just north of Volunteer Way, and will continue northward to the pedestrian crossing south of Sunrise Avenue. Additionally, curb ramps will be constructed to meet ADA standards. To accommodate the sidewalk construction, FDOT plans to close the central driveway into the parking areas for Trinity Fitness Beachside and Simply Bread. FDOT will coordinate any driveway modifications or closures directly with the property owners. In this segment of the project, the new proposed sidewalk continues along the west side of the road. New sidewalk is also proposed along the east side of the corridor between Magellan Avenue and DeSoto Parkway. Moving northward from DeSoto Parkway, the sidewalk construction is proposed along the west side of the road throughout this segment, unless sidewalk already exists. A new ADA curb ramp is proposed at the entrance to CVS and the Majorca community. There is another proposed driveway closure at the southern entrance to La Torre's Bagels. The proposed new sidewalk continues north from Skyline Boulevard and ADA curb ramps are proposed at several driveways along the corridor. Due to the high volume of pedestrian traffic at the corner of State Road A1A and Cassia Boulevard, FDOT intends to extend sidewalk construction as requested by the City of Satellite Beach. In addition, the unused driveway in front of the Groove Shack will be closed. Continuing to the north, the new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road throughout this segment, with the construction of ADA curb ramps proposed at Cinnamon Drive, Norwood Avenue, Harwood Avenue, and Glenwood Avenue. Another driveway closure is proposed in front of A1A lawnmowers. Finally, the new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road until it meets the existing sidewalk just south of Roosevelt Avenue. This is the northern end of the project limits. Curb ramps will be constructed to meet ADA standards at the entrance of the Wicked Pineapple and Park Avenue. The design of this project is in progress and is anticipated to be complete in June 2024 with an estimated cost of $1.32 million. The improvements on this project will be constructed within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. Construction for this project is currently unfunded and has an estimated construction cost of $1.59 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 14, 2023, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447150-1 or 447150-2. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at anthony.miller at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. 
You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5530 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 447-150-1 or 447-150-2 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, April 14, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites. Have a good evening.